So I'm back again here to talk to you about BPC-157 and some of its amazing benefits that got neglected in 2021 that I really want to highlight and illustrate to you guys. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas, the founder of Ergogenic Health, and my mission is to bring you the most cutting edge health information that you'll struggle to find on Google. So in today's video, what I wanted to do is look at some of the amazing benefits associated with BPC-157. So first of all, what is BPC-157? Well, BPC-157 is a partial sequence of body protection compound found in the human gastric juice. Now, BPC is a peptide and a peptide simply means a sequence of amino acids. Now, BPC has been shown to help with a variety of different conditions and disease states. And what I wanted to do was actually address some of that literature and present some of these amazing findings to you guys so you can learn more about the benefits associated with BPC-157. Just a heads up, there will be BPC linked in the video description down below. There'll be a few different vendors, both from Australia and also the US. So make sure you select the one relevant to your country. So why is everyone talking about BPC-157? Well, number one is that it's an orally bioavailable peptide. This is very rare because most peptides actually get broken down by gastric juice and is no longer actually has any actions in the body. But the benefit of BPC-157 is that it's orally bioavailable, which means we can actually derive the benefits of this peptide just by ingesting it through our mouth or orally, which is very rare for peptides. Number two, similarly to number one, is that it does not need to be injected. Although some people do find benefits associated with injecting BPC-157 to various injuries. However, it does not need to be injected for injuries by itself. Well, number three is that it's everyone's talking about BPC because it heals injuries. This is probably the number one reason why most people know about BPC. It literally healed my torn meniscus within two weeks. This was about three and a half years ago, or even longer now. After I finished playing soccer, I actually left my soccer career with a torn medial meniscus and I had the option of either getting surgery or just waiting and seeing if it could heal by itself. And I used BPC-157 orally between 250 micrograms and 500 micrograms and saw it improve my knee, my medial meniscus, and I no longer have pain at all. And I haven't even needed to keep using BPC-157. That's how powerful it can be. It's also known to fix many gut issues, and this is probably where it's been studied the most. It also is known to improve deep sleep or deepen sleep quality. When I first used BPC-157, it basically boosted my deep sleep to three hours and 15 minutes, according to my aura ring, which was outstanding. I've never used anything with such a potent sleep enhancing effect. It's also known to reverse brain damage. There's some studies that suggest that it can help the brain to heal from um, various drugs. And it's also known to be a potent painkiller as well. So here are some of the well-known benefits of BPC-157. It's been researched to improve the healing of many types of wounds. It can protect intestinal organs and prevent stomach ulcers. It can combat leaky gut or intestinal hyperpermeability, IBS, gastrointestinal cramps, and even Crohn's disease. It can accelerate the healing of skin burns, it works as an anti-inflammatory. It maintains the integrity of the mucosal lining of the GI tract. It can repair tissues of the GI tract, tendons, ligaments, brain, bone, and other organs. And it's also been known to improve digestive function. So this first study was titled Pentadecapeptide BPC-157 and the central nervous system. Now, what I really wanted to highlight with this very new study, in fact, you can see it was completed in 2022, how BPC-157 affects the central nervous system. And in particular, looking at how it can balance the dopamine system, which many of us are dealing with a broken dopamine system due to so many reasons that I don't even have time to uh, explore in this video. So here's what they said. Likewise, in BPC-157 therapy, there is specific support for each of these topics. It can counteract encephalo encephalopathies, it alleviates vascular occlusion disturbances or stroke, and it counteracted dopamine disturbances by repairing dopamine receptors or by improving dopamine receptor blockade 
activity, which is often an issue with antipsychotics. It can help to reverse and counteract uh, dopamine receptor super sensitivity development or receptor activation, over-release, negrostriatal damage, and vesicles depletion. So we can see here that BPC-157 has a restorative effect on the dopamine system. Now, is it possible that BPC-157 can help with Valium or benzodiazepine recovery? Well, this study back in 1999 does suggest that it is possible. The study was titled, The Effect of a Novel Pentadecapeptide, BPC, on Development of Tolerance and Physical Dependence Following Repeated Administration of Diazepam. Now, what they noted was how BPC-157 can counteract GABA system disturbances such as diazepam induced tolerance and withdrawal. So there are some people online that note that following benzodiazepine or Valium use, they were able to actually wean off that medication using BPC-157 because it has a restorative effect on the GABAergic network. What they also noted was the physical dependence, which is commonly studied in similar models, such as increased sensitivity to convulsant challenge. And what they noted was that it could be speculated that BPC-157 acts favoring the natural homeostasis of the GABA receptor complex, as well as enhancing the GABAergic transmission and having a mechanism at least partly different from those involved in diazepam tolerance withdrawal and it may be likely used in further therapy of diazepam tolerance and withdrawal. So again, this is incredible research. There are not many compounds that can help to reverse the brain from some of these potent and really dangerous drugs, in my opinion. So we can see how BPC not only protects against Valium or benzotoxicity, but also even helps following excessive chronic alcohol consumption as well. So now you're probably wondering, how does BPC-157 actually work? Well, as we can see here, BPC appears to target many different pathways in the body. It's known to increase macrophage activity. It can increase wound healing of skin, muscle, and the intestines. It decreases colitis. It acts on various enzymes responsible for healing and angiogenesis. Basically, there are many different pathways in which BPC works, and we're still learning more about how it actually targets these various organs and systems. So here's an underground benefit of BPC-157 that I just recently discovered. The study was titled Stable Gastric Peptide BPC-157 Robert's Stomach Cytoprotection, Adaptive Cytoprotection, Organoprotection and Salier's Stress Coping Response, Progress Achievements and the Future. Now, what they noted was that basically BPC-157 has a stress adaptive response in the body. So basically it can help the body to combat stress. And we could consider this as an adaptogenic peptide, in my opinion, that's, that's my opinion, because we know that adaptogens can help the body to heal from and recover from stress. So we can see the multi-organ membrane repair, we can see that it has a proven angiogenic effect, protective effect on the endothelium, and also protects against gastrointestinal lesions, and the pancreas damage or pancreatic damage, liver injuries, and heart damage. So it can also help with that cardiovascular support as well. So there are many different forms of BPC-157 on the market. Now, oral BPC comes in either the acetate or arginine salt form. One of the companies that I link below, the Regenerate, uses the highly bioavailable arginine salt version. So you will be seeing that link down below. The less efficacious acetate salt version is commonly found in inferior quality products and also from foreign suppliers. The arginine salt version is characterized by increased resistance to gastric juice and also high temperatures. All this means that BPC can pass through the stomach unchanged where it can then be absorbed in the intestines and is a competitive alternative to the injectable preparation. Now, there's also another form you can see linked down below is the snack, where it's salcaprosate sodium snack um, is added to the arginine salt or the arginate salt version. And this also increases the buffer capacity and absorption of BPC-157 in the body and into the bloodstream where it can exert its effects. Now, as far as dosages used, BPC is actually presently not listed 
in a legal, as an illegal compound by WADA or ASADA. And in terms of dosages, we're looking at about 250 to 1000 micrograms per day for about 30 days. And we want to continue if improvements are noted. Now, in terms of my opinion, I prefer to use BPC-157 at night because it does improve sleep quality. So the takeaway from this video is number one, the future studies are exciting. I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing more research on BPC-157. It also has a really strong safety profile. This is well established now. It has multifaceted clinical applications. It's not banned in sports yet uh, my guess is that it might be banned in the next year or so because anything that's good ends up being banned you'll also see that linked bpc 157 various bpc forms linked in the video description down below thanks everyone for tuning in i look forward to seeing you in the next video